Good day, Scorpio, and welcome to my channel. I'm Misha, the Psychotic Psychedelic Gypsy, and this is your weekly reading for July 17th to the 23rd. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I appreciate you all, and I hope this reading resonates with you. <coughs> Universe Speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known? What lessons need to be learned? Two of Hearts. Queen of Diamonds. Three of Spades. And the Five of Clubs. Okay. Okay, it is time for you to broaden your horizon. It is time for you to go through negativity to bring on new adventure and change in your life. Uh, this can be anything like, say you're not into backpacking, you know, you're not into hiking or whatever. Uh, this might be a good time if somebody asks you if you want to go hiking, this might be a good time to go hiking because that's you broadening your horizon. That's you doing something that you don't particularly like but it's going to bring you to adventure and change. It's going to bring something new to your life, something good to your life. Uh, but that doesn't, that's just, you know, hypothetical. It can just, it can be anything really. Uh, anything that you're just not, it's not really your thing or, uh, you know, you're just not into it or it doesn't feel right to you. I'm not saying, you know, somebody comes and says, hey, let's rob a bank. Don't go and do that. Don't like break any laws, but... If somebody comes and asks you to do something with them that you're not necessarily really into, you might want to think about doing it and broaden your horizon because it's going to lead to adventure, obviously, and that adventure is going to lead to change, good change. At the beginning of the week, you got new love, a passionate love. Uh, this can this can be somebody brand new in your life uh, that's just coming in, or this can be your lover right now, your your uh, relationship currently, and there's just going to be a lot of passion, uh, a lot of passion and love uh, at the beginning of the week and possibly throughout the rest of the week, but especially during the beginning of the week, lots of passion. And this can also just be somebody that you hook up with and it's really passionate, you know, uh, but definitely there is love in the air at the beginning of this week. And, uh, yeah, you, you're going to enjoy yourself with this person regardless of what it is. Uh, in the middle of the week, you need to be careful. There's somebody that's wicked jealous of you, and they're a manipulator and a homewrecker. And this coming up with the lover's card, I feel like you're going to have some big passion with either your current partner, somebody new, or whatever. And you might go and tell somebody about it. And, uh, you know, they might try to wreck it. They might try to wreck this this new love that you got going on. So be careful. There is a wicked, jealous manipulator uh, coming after you in the middle of the week. Uh, and uh, broadening your horizon might lead to this new lo love. This whole adventure and change might meet, need, meh, lead you to this new love. Uh, so... But definitely, this person, this person is not happy, uh, most likely with your love. Uh, whatever this new love is, they're not happy with it, and they want to wreck it. So beware of this person. The moment you figure out who it is, I would just kick them to the curb. You know, don't let them, don't let them get, get involved with this, you know. Uh, at the end of the week, oh, here we go. Uh, you're going to have some miscommunication. There's going to be a fight and a breakup due to betrayal. And I feel like it's this wicked person, this wicked whoever it is, this manipulator. Uh, I feel like uh, this is possibly a friend of yours, maybe. And they're going to betray you in some way. And it's going to lead to a fight and a breakup. Uh, but the cards say it's time. It's time for a change. Especially if you've, if you've come to a new love. You know, you got a new love or there's a new love happening or something's... Uh, becoming more passionate or whatever and you have like a jealous friend or something uh, uh, 
a lot of times, you know, your friends disappear when you find new love. Your friends, you know, go their separate ways when that happens. So there's gonna pos- there's gonna be some miscommunication, and it's gonna lead to a fight and breakup. And it's due to the be- betrayal. And I feel like it's this wicked, jealous person, this homewrecker. They're gonna do something that betrays you, and it- it's gonna change. And it's time for a change. It's time for you to have this adventure and change in your life you know uh this new love this is this is your new life here this whoever this is this is old this needs to change this, the breakup needs to happen so yeah it's going to be hard or whatever but i'm telling you the moment you find out who this is you need to let them go you need to let them go because i don't th- i feel like they're not going to accept your new change in life you're not going to accept this new person or this new love or whatever is going on here they're not going to accept that and even the cards say that it's time it's time for this to happen uh you're you're you know heading to something new in life let's uh, go ahead and see what the tarot cards have to say about this universe speak spirits guide what needs to be known What lessons need to be learned? Uh, yeah. The wheel of fortune. Yeah, at this time you need to you need to really sit in the middle of everything and watch and learn, you know, watch your surroundings, watch this, you know, where this person's going and what they're doing. And you need to raise your vibration beyond this person and really focus on you. And But you don't want to be out here, you know, you want to be in the middle. You want to be watching from center ring, you know, you want to watch. You want to watch the change and the, this new love and, and this wicked person so you know, you know who they are and where they're going. And, and this is going to, you're, you're just going through a big change and there's going to be a lot for you to learn during all this. Uh, you're going to learn a lot about this person, I feel. and uh, But you, you need to sit in the middle. You need to not get yourself lost on the outskirts of the wheel and sit in the middle where you can see everything and you can learn everything. Be very observant at this point in time. So there you go. I hope this resonated. If it did, hit that like button. And if you would, please comment, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you back here next week. And until then, stay safe, stay mindful, and stay healthy.